Ask yourself how much gas would flow through the bubbler if the efficiency was only a scale of 1 to 1 or 100 percent. Well, let's first do the equations. 9,900 liters of hydrogen gas delivers some 30 kilowatts of usable energy rounded off for simplicity. With an energy efficiency of 1 to 1 or 100 percent, it would require 30 kilowatt hours to produce 9,900 liters of hydrogen. Therefore, divide 9,900 by 30 and we conclude that one kilowatt hour of input energy would produce 330 liters over that one hour of constant runtime. Divide the 330 liters produced per hour into quantity per second and we arrive at 92 milliliters of hydrogen produced per second from a constant one kilowatt input energy and a 100 percent efficiency. This syringe has a total volume of 85 milliliters from end to end. Holding this syringe up to the bubbler gives an idea of what just 92 milliliters of hydrogen looks like. Therefore, if the system was just 100% efficient, then the bubbler would be displaying only the quantity needed to fill this syringe over a one second period. The bubbles of gas located alongside the syringe would fill the syringe over three times per second, given also that the displayed bubbles are compressed size. Hydrogen, being 14 times less dense than air, compresses in water much more than air, so the bubbles appear smaller than the actual volume of gas inside the bubble. What do you think? Is the system producing more than just 92 mils per second? Absolutely. It's quite obvious that the amount of gas it takes to fill the syringe is only about 5% of the complete bubbler flow. We invite all to view the performance test videos located on this channel or the H2 Innovation Lab website, along with other presentations on this exciting breakthrough technology. If you know someone in a large corporation that might be interested in game-changing technology or energy, then we'd appreciate it if you could please forward on this information to them. Thank you for watching.